Hey everybody, good morning. Good morning everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Miss True Redbone. If you didn't know, well now you know. <laughs> we rolling, we rambling into work, y'all. We just gonna chop it up a little bit and I'm gonna tell y'all how second day of clinicals went. Now, let me catch you up for all the new subscribers, all the new True Family members who have not been following um, videos, but um, I am now in a CNA uh, class, y'all. I take them Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday is 12 hours of clinicals. Um, we have that for four Saturdays and one Thursday night of clinicals. Um, I actually enjoy clinicals, y'all. Um, so second day of clinicals, now if you recall, y'all, I was talking about that I had never did, that I didn't, I was nervous about pericare. Now for you guys who don't know what pericare, pericare is when you have to clean up, you know, the private areas. Um, so I was really nervous about that. Um, it still is a little bit, but Saturday, y'all. I changed so many, you know, I cleaned up so many people that I'm getting used to it. And I gotta say, thank God that I, um, I work with two CNAs that, um, more than two, you guys, but the two that I got to train with, uh, were very caring to their, to their residents and, um, very informative. I, I like that. I, you know, I'm more hands on when some people just like to sit back and watch. No, show me, show me. You know, my my train of thought is when I walk in, tell me what you want me to do. I don't want to be standing by just watching. Tell me what you need me to do. Train, show me how this is supposed to be done. Um, because it's uh, it's probably I think it's twelve of us in our class. And it's only two of us that have never actually, you know, worked in a nursing home. So, it's new to us. Um, and this Saturday, it actually was a full, it was a packed house. Meaning, last Saturday, they only had um, maybe four rehab patients. Um on the side that I was working. This week, it was packed all the way around. I think it was, let me see, let me count to myself, y'all, I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm driving, I'm paying attention. It was 112, Pablo was in the hospital. it may be 14 or 15 on the other side because what I was doing I was running from side to side and it made my 12 hours just fly by y'all it really did um, I enjoyed it if I could have stayed a little longer I would have I really wanted to stay because before I knew it my time was done um, but my second CNA um, she was very informative she walk me through everything as it needs to be done in state at state when you go for your testing um because a lot of the cnas you know once you get certified you get off into the field and you're working and some of those um state state um what is it called you guys things that you need to do at state you you don't do it as though you should. You still do it correctly, but you forget like the little, the little ins and outs of certain things. 
um, that you have to do when you go for your state test. But the CNA that I had, she did show me how to do it for state. I did have my first male um, peri care. I was very nervous about that. And I don't think I'm nervous for me. I'm nervous for the resident because, you know, I don't know if they're embarrassed about the situation, but in most cases, you know, they're not. They become used to it. They don't feel well, so they, you know. Um, so Sharon was the CNA that I worked with, you guys. Um, and she broke it down for me. I like the way that she handled her patients. And I was just so happy that I got somebody, you know, two people that really were informative. Now, I, I was really, you know, you get nervous about about people's private parts. But I guess if you seen one ding ding and one punani, you didn't see them at all. <laughs> For real. But I, I really liked the way she took the, the wet, the wet wipes. She pulled out like very generous like 20 of them you um and set them to the side gloves of course and just show me you know i knew from class how to do it but you know it's different when you actually doing it on the person so um she showed me how to wipe you know the the genitals of a man correctly how to roll them over and get all of that but i still haven't did poop yet really nervous about that yeah and it's just it's something about this, the smell of a nursing home you guys no matter it's like you can smell the clean and the urine I don't know how to explain that but as soon as I got home I was standing at the washing machine pulling off clothes I picked my shoes off at the front door because I don't want to track nothing into my house um, I'm pulling off <laughs> the the scrubs right at the washing machine, y'all. Butt naked at the washing machine, throwing them in and washing them because I want that smell off of me jumping in the shower. Um, I kept on smelling it here and there because, you know, we were in the facility for 12 hours. But I had some very sweet, hilarious um, residents. And I love it. My sharing the cna that i was training with she was like before i left i think um before i left she was like you're gonna do great she was like i see that you are very ready to learn that you're hands on that um you enjoy your patients they love you like i've worked with these people probably some were new to new on saturday but i immediately you know I, I immediately was, um, I'm not going to say attached, but I immediately grew, you know, a, a relationship with at least four or five of my residents, you know, and they call me Q, you know, so it's real sweet. I, I enjoyed it. Um, one of the ladies there, her husband was there visiting, visiting her. She was in a room with another older lady, and they were just hilarious and too sweet, and I just loved them. And she was like, baby, you come back and tell me before you go home or whatever. <laughs> so I did that, and he was supposed to go get a haircut for my husband. Y'all, I know I'm rambling, but he asked, he did not, how to know, did not know how to use his GPS on his phone, so I showed him how to use his GPS to get to our barbershop to get a haircut. He didn't go, but I showed him how to use his GPS. I mean, you got to have patience, y'all. And and for some reason, I, I just naturally have that, that patience. And I don't know if it's because I've had so many kids. I've taken care of so many of other people's kids before I, I had my own. So I think I built up my patience that way. Um, but my 12 hours felt like five it flew by like i said i could have stayed they had to come get me for breaks lunch and um when it was time to go home and meet up meet up um to to say how our day went um i was in rooms i was running from side to side like i thoroughly enjoyed it um so yeah i'm looking forward to next saturday more hands-on and I hope that I can get the same two CNAs um, 
what else did I learn? We had, if there's a patient that they got that bed monitor on her because she likes to get up on her own, but she is very weak. So, you know, I helped with her a couple of times and she, her son was in there, y'all. They love this haircut. All, all of the residents, like, I had one lady, she had just had hip surgery and she was like, oh, you jazzy. <laughs> I was dying. They was at me, y'all. And then this man, um, this lady, her son was there, you know, she probably 80, so that make, he was probably like 50 or 60. And as soon as I walk in the room to assist his mother, he like, hey, pretty girl, could you y'all flirting, just flirting. Too hilarious, too hilarious, but it was cute, you know. He reminded me of my dad, actually. He was um, Hispanic, but he reminded me of my daddy. Y'all, people, I just had a good day. It was really fun. Um... You, you, I've learned, I learned some things, um, that made me realize that I really enjoy doing this type of, um, this type of job, you know, so that's how my second day of clinicals went, uh, and I enjoyed it. It was fun. And I'm still nervous about peri care, but I feel like I'm getting used to it. But that's all I wanted to update you guys on. I'm on my way to work, so I can go in here, do a little work, do my makeup, get my mind right. I started drinking my coffee at home, you guys, because for some reason, I, I y'all know I got a compulsive behavior, but I do not like the way that coffee tastes in the cup in the um carry cups the thermal cups or whatever you call them i don't like the way it tastes i prefer it in a coffee cup a porcelain cup for some reason it tastes different to me i don't know but y'all have an amazing day thanks for you know watching my video if you watch to the end you guys are so dope um i got 11 days till i move y'all i'm so excited and i still have so much to do around this house it's just so much going on but i'm loving it loving life and um the new adventures that are coming our way i'm just heading i'm, I'm head first in you know all right i'll talk to y'all later thanks for hanging with me this is miss true redbone don't let the door hit you with a good lord split you bye y'all